Yeah, I can't say I love everything about living up north at the moment. So I had plans for filming outside today, but that is now looking pretty unlikely. So I'm gonna to have to come up with something else. But first, I have an announcement. I would like to say thank you to everyone who left me challenges to do in the comments of the last video. There were lots of really good ideas in there for me to dive into over the next few weeks. One of the things that came up a lot was a Q&A, so I think that next week at some point I'm going to film and record and put out a Q&A. So if you have any cues that you want A's for, leave them in the comments for this video and I will collect all of those and the best cues will get A's. I've got it. It's Friday the 30th of October, which means tomorrow is Halloween. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing Halloween-y in this room. And that's mostly because Charlie doesn't like Halloween. Uh, not entirely sure why. Charlie. Mm. Are you working? Yes. Okay, well, just a quick question. Why don't you like Halloween? Just don't. No? Don't get it. Don't get it? No. It's not really a British thing, is it? No. I put it to you that I can get you into the spirit of Halloween. Unlikely. So, is that a challenge? No. Challenge accepted. <laughs> So that was a bit of a disaster really. It turns out that the 30th of October is way too late to go shopping for anything Halloween-y. So I was actually at the reduced bin when I got my bits. Uh, so I have a few bits, but not many to decorate the room. I've got some honeycomb ghost decorations. Um, yeah, I don't suspect that they'll get Charlie into the spirit, but you know, they're part of the way. Next thing I've got here is some fake Spider webs with spiders on, and I've got two packs of those. Um, and then of course the pièce de résistance is this bunny mask, which I think really ought to get things uh, going this evening. Now everybody knows that in order to celebrate Halloween properly, you need a carved pumpkin, but I was so late to the shops this year to decorate for Halloween that there were no pumpkins left. So I got the next best thing, a large butternut squash. I think it says something about my channel that this is only the second most stupid thing I've done in the kitchen this week. Not sure I need a knife this big, but you know, if you want to do something right, do it with a big knife. Is that... Do I just slice it down? Slice it straight down, that'll be... Um. Right, that doesn't look like it's going to be easy to hollow at all. Um. Oh, no. Starting to see why you might want to use a pumpkin for this. Oh, 
this is gonna take ages. This is gonna take ages. I'm gonna see if I can like set up a time lapse so that you can see me scooping this out quickly because this is really gonna take a long time. So I think I figured out another problem with doing this with a butternut squash and not a pumpkin, and that is that there isn't really much space on there to put a design for something scary to carve. Um, so I think I've got an idea, but I don't know how well it's gonna carve in there, so uh, have to see how it goes. Right, so I'm pretty happy with my design. Time to see if it'll actually carve in. This is looking pretty good so far. I'm, qu I'm quite happy with this. I think I'm gonna need a corkscrew to finish this off. Look at this little retro number. Let's see if it works. Nope. That doesn't work. Although maybe what I can do is like start to make some holes and then finish them off with the knife, but I'm gonna try and persist with this. Done, I think. Now unfortunately it's still daylight and the only room in the house that doesn't have any windows is a loo. So um, yeah, let's go in there. <laughs> there we go, it is a COVID-19 coronavirus butternut squash lantern. The scariest thing I could think of. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I'm not gonna lie, the decorations I bought today are crap, so the butternut squash is definitely the piece de resistance of this video. But what I'm gonna do is put the decorations up and when Charlie finishes work, we're gonna see if we can get her into the Halloween spirit and most importantly, see what her reaction is to the terrifying butternut squash. And that's really uncomfortable to wear. That, that really is rubbish, isn't it? I guess it's time to see if we can get Charlie into the Halloween spirit. Hello. Hi. What are you wearing? Are you scared? No. Does this help you get into the Halloween spirit? No. Follow me, I think I know something that will. Enter the Halloween, I don't know, grotto? Yeah, the Halloween grotto. put a coronavirus on the butternut squash. Pretty scary, right? Terrifying. Hey, what do you think of the ghosts? They <laughs> look really friendly. <laughs> what about all of the scary cobwebs? It's essentially cotton wool, isn't it? Are you in the Halloween spirit? No. Oh. The boy John, the boy John, 